We're just going to kind of take a quick look at some other things we can calculate using the partition function. But at this point here, I think our course is basically done for the year. So uh, what else can we calculate using Q? We can calculate the entropy. We can show that the entropy is equal to uh, the internal energy minus that zero point correction um, over T plus nk natural log of the partition function so that's cool and uh, you might recognize this term up here this was just our total energy which we calculated using the partition function too remember it was nkt squared over q times by the temperature derivative of q so wow what will uh, what wonders will never cease huh uh, technically this is actually for uh, distinguishable molecules so technically this only applies for distinguishable molecules and what I mean by that is molecules that uh, actually you can tell one from the other so for instance if you have HCl in the solid phase then uh, the molecules form part of a lattice and uh, you can clearly expect these five molecules will be in the same position if you look a second or two later so they're really not moving around very much however the other situation is that uh, indistinguishable molecules so for instance if you had HCl in the gas phase then uh, you know if you had a molecule here and you had a molecule here and a molecule here they're constantly moving around so if you looked a second or two later you really couldn't tell uh, where the things were well, in this situation, we can calculate the entropy as well using a very similar equation. So u minus u0 over t, and we showed above, right? You can get that from the partition function, plus uh, nk, natural log of the partition function. And then you see a, a term here, here, that you actually end up having to subtract off. So nk, natural log n minus 1. We can also calculate Gibbs energy from the partition function. So again, G minus G0. So G0 is the uh, Gibbs energy, taking into account zero point energies and the like, is equal to minus NKT, natural logarithm of, there it is again, the partition function, over the number of particles. So uh, very, very cool. And uh, of course, you can get at the equilibrium constant because we know that delta G um, is equal to minus RT natural log K. So once you've got the Gibbs energy, you can uh, add it all up for your products and subtract that away from your reactants and calculate delta G standard of reaction and then relate that to the equilibrium constant. So golly gosh, right? So the partition function, you can get the energy, you can get the heat capacities, you can get the entropies, you can get the Gibbs energies, you can get the equilibrium constant. So uh, it basically gives you full access to everything. So isn't chemistry wonderful? So quantum mechanics or spectroscopy provide the energies. You calculate the partition functions using the recipes we've seen, right? So the partition function is just that sum over all the states of the uh, energies, right? E to the minus those energies over KT. And then basically we got a series of recipes to turn this into energy, to entropy, to Gibbs energy, and uh, to things like equilibrium constants. So that allows us to basically predict all of chemistry from uh, those principles so wow I wish we could have spent more time with partition functions but I think that gives you a little flavor for how useful they are so at this point here we are done with the semester I don't think there's anything else that we need to really do there's plenty of other things to do if you're in graduate school and want to learn more you can take a whole course in statistical thermodynamics and I would encourage you to do so because this ability to actually predict chemistry from quantum mechanics right is really really powerful or if you don't believe quantum mechanics you can take spectroscopy and and those wavelengths and turn them into energies and you can basically come up with a grand theory of chemistry so congratulations guys uh, most of you are graduating uh, I'm sorry you're not gonna have your Shawnee State uh, commencement ceremony but uh, if you uh, shoot me an email with your home address I actually have a gift for you and it's a honk if you uh, passed PCAM bumper sticker so if you shoot me an email and uh, this only applies to Shawnee State students by the way so if you shoot me an email with your address I will be happy to send you the bumper sticker which is absolutely awesome you've definitely earned it